Good morning team. Thank you for joining me here in my home studio for our Monday morning workout. Does it feel like Monday morning to you? It does feel like Monday to me after a week of Sundays. So I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for joining me. Now, no equipment workout. What you may need is a drink and a towel. Hopefully we'll get a sweater and Depending on your mobility levels, fitness levels, perhaps just a chair, handy. Chair is just for a little bit of assistance with a few of the exercises. So we're going to start pretty cruisy. I'm not sure what level many of you are at. Quite a few of my uh, normal clients have joined us this morning. I know a lot of you guys haven't done a great deal in the last week. So let's just start easy with a bit of a warm up. We're going to simply begin getting our shoulders warmed up. So a couple of circles, nice and easy to the back. Keep that going for me. So we'll just go nice and cruise the first few minutes while a couple of other people join us. It's nice to actually get out of bed reasonably early again. Although I know for some of you this is super early because you normally train at 8.30. So thank you for getting up at 7 a.m. All right, from those circles, hands on your head. Now, if getting on your head a bit tight posture-wise, just come to the front, or if you need to, you can cross them over. So let's just go nice and easy for a twist. Uh, good morning, Rolly. Good morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Julie. Uh, my cousin Malcolm, good morning Malcolm. I'm not going to sing for you today, mate. As you know, I haven't been ranked in the top 10. <laughs> and good morning, David. Uh, I'm not even going to comment on that one, Malcolm. Karen Gallagher, KG, how are you? Nice to see you, or nice to see you online anyway. Okay, let's go sideways. Let's get that lower back warmed up. As I say, we're going to start easy, slowly up the intensity as we go. Once we've finished our warm up, I will put some music on. So, this is my second ever Facebook Live Cross. I apologise now for uh, any dropouts of Wi Fi. Our Wi-Fi internet's not great around here. And I've had a real crash course the last oh, few days, I suppose, on doing presentations and stuff online. And hopefully each one will be a little more polished than the one before it. Okay, we've just gone sideways. Let's now go to the front. So hands on your head, what I like to call gorilla bum. Bending forward. Stick your butt back, maintain that curve, and feel the stretch. Back up nice and tall. When you come back to the top, little thrust to those hips, squeeze your butt, pelvic floor, and continue. And one more. Okay. From there, we're going to do what I call a walkout. So standing like so, nice and tall. Soft knees. Bend your knees only as much as you need to to reach the ground. Walk it out. Top of the push-up. Walk it back. You're feeling good, you want to make it a little harder. You can throw in that push up. And again. Good. 
the one more okay now for those of you that have swung a kettlebell before we're going to do a little kettlebell swing but with no weight still just a warm-up from the side once again tummy in gorilla bum back hands swing through the legs swing high Of a shake. Got a few more people joining us there. Good morning. Okay, I'm going to put some music on and we'll start to pick the pace up a little bit. Now, please, any injuries, you be the judge. Only do what you feel comfortable doing. Have your chair on hand in case you need there's a prop assistance with a few of the exercises. Uh, there are some push ups in here. Those, if you can't get to the floor, can always do push-ups off a wall or perhaps a kitchen bench. For those that have just joined us, have you got a, some water and a towel ready? So we're going to go, we're going to work now for about 10 to 12 minutes, pretty much non-stop. Stop and have a little breather, a little drink of water before we go again. In total, you're going to be here till about 7.45. All right, a few tunes. Something cruisy that everybody might enjoy. Not too loud, but you can't hear me. As I say, I'm pretty fresh with all this stuff, a bit of a novice. Anyone who saw the little clip with Lada and I yesterday would realize how much so, but I am getting better. All right, so we're gonna work for 30 seconds each exercise, five exercises, 30 seconds of each. When we're ready, Let's go, we're starting with a punch. Four punches to the front, turn 90 degrees, you jump. Four, and repeat. You can go nice and slow, or you can go nice and fast and dynamic. I provide the exercises, you provide the intensity. Almost there, come on, here we go. One more. Very good. All right, we're now just going to do our good old squats, body weight squats. Let's go, up and down. From the side. Keep those heels on the ground. Bottom back. Weight spread evenly through the feet. position for our push-ups. When we do the push-ups, I don't want the elbows flaring wide. Keep them in. And we sort of take our chest forward over our hands. Ready? 30 seconds push-ups. Let's go. Can't do them like that. Drop onto the knees. exercising without clients giving me cheek. All right, from there, lying down, pelvic extension. Brush those hips, squeeze that butt.
Last one. All right, bit of nut push, you girls out there. Russian twist. Time of the music. Can't do it sitting down, you can do it sitting on a chair or standing up. Wanna work harder? Feet up. Ten seconds, come on. First round done. Are you on your feet? Tina! Buenos dias, good morning. And Joe. Bron, Madly, good morning, Bron. Good morning, Emma. And Jane, ends up. All right, second round, we ready? Back to our punches. Four punches, 900 degree jump. Nice and sharp. Starting with a punch. Four punches, nine and three. Let's go. Nice and sharp. Get around as quick as you can. Make sure put your body in your hips into that punch. Right, 
Three, two, one. All right. Squats. Let's go. I'll go front forward. Work on getting deep. I'm 53. I've got a bad back. I've got bad knees. I've got arthritis in my hips. If I can get down this step, you can get there too. I've got a little time. First time ever. Keep going. Three, two, one. Very good. Push ups. Let's go. Margaritas coming out of me. I only had two. Actually, no, I had one, but it was a double. So just while I have a little breather, I'll just mention that starting next Monday, I'm going to do a two week challenge. Two week home isolation challenge. Or you could call it a two weeks home lifestyle retreat challenge. So turn our homes into a little health retreat. There'll be two workouts a day. There'll be some meditation. There'll be stretch sessions. There'll be some homework. All idea is, you know, with no one working, a lot of things closed at the moment. People are a little bit lost. It's good to have a bit of routine. As I say, a river without banks is a swamp. And those banks, they're like our, our guide in life, our goals. And when they're gone, we get a bit stagnant, not sure what to do with ourselves. All right, are we ready, team? Joanne, Eddie, good morning down there in Wagga. How are you, darling? Nice to see you, hope you guys are well. All right, we're ready for our second round. We're gonna start with our rocking horse. Time is ready, I'm ready, let's go. Rocking horse. All fours. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Knees just off the ground. Back as far as you can, forward as far as you can. Notice my knees are staying reasonably close to the ground. Once again, you can go a bit faster, trying to be a little bit more dynamic with it. And 
time. Now here's where you might want your chair. We're doing our curtsy lunge. Back, across behind. Chair if you need a bit of support. From behind it looks like this. Looking to keep the foot straight as we go back across. That creates that twist and the torque in the hips. So let's go a few more. Try and keep head and chest up. Oh yeah, work those legs. Move that chair. Mountain climber. So we're back down onto the floor in our push up position. Once again, you can do it with the chair. Hands on the chair. So let's go. Knee in. Keep your bottom down. That's easy. You go faster. You can now climb a crossover. Once again, start easy. You beat on any. I love these ones. Three, two, one. Woo! And we are there, all good? All right, from mountain climber to gorilla. Now, if you don't have the mobility in the hips, you might just do a side squat together. Side, together. Reaching out, keeping deep. But what we're looking to do is a gorilla. Like this, one, Two, one, two, one, sitting back on my heels between each one, two, one, two, couple more, last one, alright, feel that in those hips, okay, let's shake that off, with a skip, 30 seconds of skipping. Woo, I'm breathing, let's go. Pretend skipping rope, remember? The magic rope that I've never fallen over, and you won't either. Plus, some of you may. Try and get a nice rhythm with your skipping and your breathing. Just like if you're jogging, it's all about rhythm. And breathing. Almost there, team. Three, two, one. Breathing's one of those things most of us don't do properly. And we don't appreciate it until we can't do it properly. Especially those, and this time, strange days indeed at the moment, where we've got this virus doing the rounds, respiratory issues, we need to appreciate the ability to breathe and breathe well. Okay, we're back to the start. Rocking horse, let's go. All fours, knees just off the ground. Time. 
So let's just keep going, huh? Let's pump out a few more. As Arnold Schwarzenegger says, I don't start counting till I start hurting. Or something like that. A few more, come on. Three, two, one. Now it's our mountain climbers. Let's go, down we go. Start slow. You can go fast. Keep your butt down. A lot of people will tend to bring it up. Keep it down. Be a bit more dynamic, you can go across. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Woo! Onto our feet. Gorilla. Gorilla. Begin the level. Looking to get down on the ground. One, two. Rocking back under those heels between each one. One more. Woo. Shake it off. Shake it off more. With our skip. With our invisible skipping rope. Let's go. Double unders. I'm going to practice double unders. Do what we call a penguin, where you clap your hips twice as you jump. And I'll go back to singles. My dodgy on me. Unfortunately, he doesn't love those doubles much anymore. And time. All right. Just have a little breather between sets. Good morning, Lou. Good morning, Alana. Charlotte, Miss Bull, long time no see. Lara, good morning, Lara. Anne Louise, good morning, AL. Anne Louise, the poet. Mr. Wyborn, good morning, mate. How are you? I've been getting a few waves lately. Woo! No fan, no air conditioner. Quick drink of water. One more set. You ready? Let's go. Starting rocking horse. It comes around again quickly, doesn't it? Knees under hips, hands under shoulders, knees up, rock back, rock forward. So, if we've got an art, I would imagine. Hands on the hips. Back and across we go. You're welcome to give me some hand movements. I will accept bowing hand movements this morning. You can go prisoner. Not all exercise, there are variations, modifications to make things harder, make things easier. Generally, just mixing it up. A few more. These don't feel like much now. But you should feel like you've worked those glutes and hips tomorrow. A couple more. Three, two, 
One. All right, down for our mountain climbers. All fours. Up we come. Once again, more dynamic. You can reach across. I'll show you that one from head on. Three, two, one. Woo. Where do we go from there? Gorilla. Nice wide legs, hands to the ground, head and chest up. One, two, one, two. Couple more. And time. Shake it off. All right, last time we're skipping. Let's go. The invisible skipping rope. Wonderful skipping rope. Take it anywhere. Even if you forget the packet, you've still got it. It's just like burpees. Take them on holidays with you. I can hear you now. Why would I want to take burpees on all of those? Woo! Don't know about you two, but I've got to sweat up. Keep going, just because I've stopped. I will remember next time to turn my air conditioner on. Very humid. Keep going. Three, two, one. Whew. Well, that's it for our exercise portion, guys. For anyone who joined in late, I believe once I save it to my timeline that it'll always be there. You can come back and have a look at it. But well, if you remember those last few sets, feel free to keep going, do some sets. But for everyone else, and those are ready, we're going to have a stretch. And this is where we want our kitchen chair as well, okay? So, if you haven't got one yet, take a minute, grab a chair, something you can sit on. We're going to have a stretch. I'll just turn that music down a little. As I say, I'm a novice to this online world, so I've been told I need to get an external microphone to hook to my, um, what's it called, my iPhone, so that... The sound's a little better. But really, as long as you can see what I'm doing, you probably want to pump your music up at home and not listen to me anyway. Okay, stretch time. Now we did a bit of work today through the hips, glutes. So let's start with a hip stretch. From the front, have you got your chair? Come forward a bit more. That looks pretty good there. Okay. Woo! Sitting nice and tall. Cross over. Grab that knee, sit tall. Pull that knee in towards the center of your chest. Nice and hard. And breathe. Big deep breath in. Big deep breath out. It's nice to close your eyes. Just gives you a little bit more body awareness. Really feel what's happening in the hip. One more big deep breath. And release. Now when you're breathing in, we can imagine that you're breathing through your belly button. That'll help fill that diaphragm as well. So many people are shallow breathers. 
as I spoke about earlier, we really don't appreciate breathing until we can't do it. Okay, other side, cross over, sitting tall. I see a few people have just joined us as well. So we're at our cool down stretch phase. <clears throat> this uh, video will be posted to my timeline. So if you uh, wait till we finish that stretch, for about another five minutes or so, I'll post it. And I'm pretty sure from there you'll be able to start at the beginning and do the workout. Nice little full body workout. Workout portion goes for about 25 minutes. Working a little bit of everything. Breathing deep, team. Once again, close your eyes. Okay. So it's quite unusual doing an exercise routine with our clients, which is all I've ever done. How is it for you doing it online? Not being able to give me a hard time, perhaps. All right, we're gonna do a twist. Sit nice and tall on your chair. Twisting to the side, turning, turning. Keep turning your chest, looking over that shoulder, grabbing the back of the chair and twisting. I'll turn to the side. Of course, we're twisting that abdominal cavity gets quite constricted, so really focus on good, deep breaths. Once again, close your eyes. Show you from another angle. Hamstring stretch. We're going to do it standing up with our chair. Now, anyone who's hypermobile, when it comes to stretching, a lot of them you might be going, I'm not feeling anything. That's okay. Not everybody is going to feel every stretch. Not everybody will feel every stretch the same either. So if you are someone that's hypermobile, I mean, how flexible do we need to be? The whole idea of running through the stretches, most people will feel something. But if not, just bear with us. Use it as just to cool down. So up we go. And from there, I'm just gonna gently come forward. I can straighten my leg out to get it more in behind the knee. Looking to maintain that lower back curve if I can. If you find standing up is a, a, a bit of a challenge for the balance, we can do it on the ground, like that. Okay, so whatever you're doing, standing up or sitting, change sides for me. Okay, very good. Let's, oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you for your lovely comment. 
out of that hip, uh, out of that hamstring stretch we come, time for hip flexors. One for stretch hip flexors. And with our chair, kneeling on the ground, big lunge out beside the chair. So I'll go to the other side first. Back hip, letting it sink forward. Head to chest up. Once again, big deep breaths. Hip flex is such a powerful muscle and such an important one. So many people with bad backs or tight backs, the problem more often than not is the hip flexor. It's a muscle that tightens as we sit. And we do a lot of sitting, a lot of driving. At the moment, I'm sure many of you are doing more sitting than ever. Perhaps some of you that sit on your ass or lay in the office are actually moving more than ever at the moment. That's the thing with this current pandemic. There are some benefits, I think, for some people. Unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, misfortune as well. As I say, things turn out best for those who make the best of the way things turn out. Okay, enough philosophy from me. Let's change sides. Big lunge out, get the back knee back, head and chest up, back hip forward. Now my back knee on the ground there, I've got some issues with that knee. It's just starting to feel uncomfortable. So I'm gonna lift it up, like that. upper body stretches now. Let's go over top to start with, reaching down behind, grabbing the elbow, pulling that elbow back. Keep breathing. Change sides. Chest stretches. This is also called fish this big stretch. I'll move back a bit. Opening up, rotate thumbs back. I'm now going to take one arm higher, one arm lower. Keep pulling back. Back to even. Other side. Keep pulling back. Back to the middle, pull those arms back, rotate the thumbs back, gently release. Those shoulders are straight. Look, look at me, got some sweat up. Actually, one thing I'm gonna enjoy about this online stuff is that I actually have to do the workout too, as opposed to just following people around and guiding them. So I'm gonna look forward to that part of it. A lot of short, sharp little workouts. Love it. Okay, almost done. Last stretch now. Very last stretch. Soft knees. And I'll come from the side. Soft knees. Slowly roll forward. 
rolling forward, rolling forward, as deep as you comfortably can. Keep the knees soft. And then roll it up, think one vertebrae at a time. Hands together. Big breath in as you look up. Hold the breath in. And then when we release the arms, we're going to do a big, big breath out. Give those arms a shake. And we are done. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Right on our 45 minutes. Five minute walk up. Five minute walk up. Warm up, that's what they call it. 25 minutes roughly of intensity in the middle there with a few breaks and a nice cool down. Now, as I mentioned earlier, those that joined us late, starting next Monday, I'm going to do a two week in home retreat challenge. There'll be a couple of workouts a day, there'll be some meditation, there'll be eating guidelines, there'll be little challenges, there'll be some homework. So, something to keep us all in a little bit of routine so that we come out the other side of this COVID 19 uh, scare happier and healthier. All right, I will be charged for that actually. I'm gonna charge, I think, 50 bucks for the two weeks. I'll do an event on Facebook, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, thanks for joining me team. Take care, love to all. Those of you out there I see regularly, you know I'm a hugger, so I'm sending you all a hug, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Cheers.